Brothers and sisters of melanin, brother wisdom. You know, um, a message came through yesterday about it was a very foul, powerful message. They went to these uh, so-called 13 families. Um, yes, they are. They're cosmic prisoners. The entire reptilian species, what I used to call crocozoids, what other people call white people, the entire reptilian species are cosmic fugitives. They are the children of prison escapees. Believe me, they made themselves appear more powerful than what they really are. I was just in the store at Home Depot and um, got a few things. And uh, the cashier was, of course, a reptilian. And I said, uh, thank you very much. She was asking me about the buckets and I started telling her, you know, what I was going to do with the buckets or whatever. And the energy from my body was so heavy that she started saying, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> It's already started, y'all. Um, I want to talk about Exodus. I want to talk about Exodus, the book of Exodus. See, we have to understand, you know, like I told you guys before, this book called the Bible is a book about the cosmos. There's no history of anything that actually happened here in that book. It's a book about things that happen in the cosmos, you know. Um, we want to talk about um, Exodus in the sense of what really happened. Now, you remember, I, you know, talked to you guys before, talked to you guys, you know, explained to you how these reptilians are exiles. They're how their forefathers had commuted, committed mutiny on their planet when they tried to implement the laws that they put on this planet here. They tried to implement those laws, the mind control laws. And their people wasn't having it. And they got mad and they tried to fight. They tried to force it upon their people or their, uh, the, the elders of the planet where they were at to engage in this type of um, uh, rulership. But because they tried to fight and they tried to, they went up against the, their own, the elders of their own planet, they were exiled. Now remember, you know, told you guys about how they, um, all the elders got together and said, we don't want to kill them because their offspring will rise up against us. So they casted out the entire bloodline of all 13 men who came together, all 13 of these reptilians, reptilian males who came together and tried to change the rules, tried to alter the nature of that planet that they lived on. Now you remember, that's that's a cosmic violation, you know, altering the nature of a planet. Um, so, they were exiled from the planet and they were sent to a, a planet where they were to be sentenced, all right? And their sentencing was to be for the remainder of their existence, and they were to be put in slavery. And they were put in, they were sent to a planet called Egypt. This is a planet called Egypt. All right? This is where they spent their first, first 400 years in slavery this is why they say we enslaved them first whatever happened over that that planet we had nothing to do with those brothers those high powered brothers over there we had nothing to do with 
Now, whoever this guy is, this magician that they call Moses, because Moses was a magician according to them, um, he killed one of the one of the the, the the pharaohs or the guards who were watch who were watching over them. He fled. He came back, learned some magic or whatever, and he came back to fight for their people. And which basically because these reptilian beings were created out of chaos, all right, and uh, and, and and imbalance, it's nothing. It's no problem for them to go ahead and want to start raging and fighting. So basically, they fought their ways, all right, and they had an exodus from the planet. So as they fought, they were able to get upon chariots. Now remember, when you see chariots in this book called the Bible, they're talking about spaceships. So they got on chariots, all right? And they were leaving Egypt. And as they were leaving Egypt, the pharaohs, uh, 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 men were coming after them in their chariots which are also spaceships. Now it says that Moses raised his rod and the Red Sea opened up. You have to understand this. Understand the, 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 the all everything that's, that's, that's there. All right? That was a, uh, pretty much like a, an antenna. All right? That sent out a, a, a crazy signal and opened up a portal a stargate and all these 13 families on their ships that they stole from this planet Egypt went through the portal and when it said the Red Sea closed on the the Pharaoh's guards this is the portal that closed the portal closed okay the portal closed and Pharaoh's men were not able to pursue them because the Red Sea had closed up. All right. So here comes this guy, Moses, and all his other, these other European names. You got to understand, not European names, but reptilian names. These names are nothing like our names, all right? They told you who they were. So when it says they went through the wilderness for however many, it, it had to be years. It had to be no 40 days. It had to be years. You know, it was years. I'm sorry. Um, they went through the wilderness. The wilderness is them traveling through the cosmos, going from planet to planet to planet to planet causing chaos, stealing technology, uh, 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 mating with beings on other planets that they had no business mating with, doing all kind of craziness. And then they found our planet, the land of milk and honey. It was habitable for them. And they sent their scouts out to our planet. And their scout says there are giants in the land because we were much bigger than what we are now. After they destroyed our power structures and, and trees of life and the, the things that they went through, we shrunk in size, but we were much bigger than what we are now. And what did they say? It doesn't matter. We're gonna fight them and we're gonna take the land. And this is when the fight ensued, this hundred year war, this hundred year war. This is how these beings got here. These reptilian beings, so-called white people on our planet, are children of cosmic exiles. They are cosmic fugitives. That's what they are. They're literally cosmic fugitives. And there is a hefty bounty on their heads. There is a hefty, hefty bounty on their heads. 
a lot of us don't even know this. And the bounty is life or death. This is why they're searching the sky. This is why they're searching the cosmos because they're looking for those who's coming after them. That's why they fear Nibiru because Nibiru, my planet Nibiru, is where all the judges are. It's where all the kings, all the rulers are. And everybody on Nibiru knows that these reptilian beings this 13th family, what they call themselves the 13 tribes of Israel, the 13 tribes, these beings on our planet are fugitives. This is why they want us to fear them because they know that they are fugitives. This is why they're trying to mate with us because they know that at some point in time, very soon, which a lot of it is going to happen this year. They're going to be destroyed. This is why they are they are abducted. When they are abduct, abducted, can't get that word right. When they are abducted, abducted, they are taken away and never return again. Where are they taken? Some of them are killed, and some of them are taken right back to the planet Egypt so that they can finish out their sentence, which is the remainder of their existence. So this is the true story and the incidents of the book of Exodus. And all the things that they did and all the things that they did, they and and they, they, you know, they they really fought against us really hard. They fought against us really hard. They jumbled this book called the Bible up, so that you won't, so that you'll be confused. They jumbled it up uh, really heavy. All right. So there is a bounty on the heads of. All of these reptilian beings, and you may say, "Well, what? What is? What's the? What's the, 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 those who coming from above are sending us the message? You fight them, you defeat them, you will get loads of different technologies to help you become more advanced. We get loads." of different emeralds and jewels to advance our bodies this is what we would get for going to war and taking out the children of the exiles these reptilian beings are cosmic fugitives this is why they want you to fear them they hid on our planet and they hid among us when they put us in slavery because our energy was so great that it, 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 it that it hid them. They needed us. They needed something to hide. Now that the cosmos is wide open, and we send the messages up into the cosmos now, they can't hide anymore. This is why Rothschild, Krupp, Bush, Clinton, Keller, all these 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 reptilian families were called out. All 13 families. Remember, a lot of your Chinese and Japanese, your Arabs, are part of this 13 families. All right, my people, this is the message for the day. The book of Exodus. That's what really happened. All power to the Motion Chakra people, Melanin, peace to you all.